What's going on everybody? It's your boy Spencer. So on Saturday, I did Subscriber Saturday, and I featured uh, someone's Numeron Egyptian God build, and I was inspired. I really liked the deck, so I thought I'd make my own, you know, kind of make the card list how I would. <laughs> Expert analysis by me here. Uh, but there's a few things I'm going to be talking about on here. Uh, I put the deck size down to 40 cards. Uh, I took out, you know, if you can believe it, from 50 to 40 cards, I took out some, but I put in more hand traps. I took out uh, some, like, more of the Egyptian God Slime stuff and focused more on the Numeron build and kind of focusing in on that. Uh, one thing, a quick of note here is, for whatever reason, uh, my version of the game, I can't use the true name with Exchanging Soul, so I purposely mess up on this one, and also one of my other duels. <laughs> Uh, you know, gets like completely messed up. But I, I just wanted to show you like proof, basically, of what, what I have going on here. And, you know, the true name comes down. See, what I like about this deck is there's so many useful cards to look up with the true name. Also, Sarah Yuja is easily accessible, Memory of the Hopes. So, like, you're kind of always going to find the piece that you need, right, in order to uh, make things work. I guess Battle Fader, pretty good tech card, I guess. It worked out here, obviously. And uh, yeah, so the best thing about Numeron Network, obviously, is being able to normal, like, this is the easiest way to tribute summon an Egyptian god. Easier than Monarchs, easier than anything else, even should all monsters, because you're not depending on your opponent for anything, obviously. The only problem is late stage, you know, you can't keep using Numeron Network. Uh, so yeah, I purposely messed up, because I had stacked exchanging souls there, uh, but I know, like, oh, if I actually do type in exchanging souls the game will crash so i'm trying to see if i can still win beyond this also i make a mistake later in this duel that i wanted to show you so that's really the main purpose of this and obviously you're seeing like me going pretty long so i'm grinding it out which is really nice cards like infinite impermanence obviously will be accessible soon lightning storm is also in this deck this is a clearly going second deck you're trying to you know kill your opponent obviously i'm gonna go ahead and let him destroy my monster that way uh you know i can use numeron calling really cool right it's not really bad, uh, in my opinion, to have it in your hand for situations just like this. And I can draw four more. Exchanging soul. So, uh, yeah, so I shouldn't have done that for a few reasons. Uh, this ends up being breaking skill, so not good for me. But at the end of the day, uh, I should have probably just normal tribute summon and then use Thunder Force Attack, which I have in my hand, to draw two more cards. Uh, instead, I kind of leave the door open for him here, obviously. And with less Egyptian God Slimes, by the way, a lot of good tech cards in here, like the Nightmare Package. It seems stupid, and it is to a certain extent, but when you're going later in the game, maybe you've used Numeron Network multiple times, like getting a monster off the field can end up, you know, accounting for a lot. I still have Thunder Force attacks. So I'm really not that worried at this point. He's going to try to, you know, attack over at that point. All right, see your field. He does draw one card, another Lava Golem. Uh, it's kind of a bad matchup because I, I'm literally tributing monsters and creating less on the field. I can finally use this infinite impermanence that I've had, you know, kind of chilling out here for a long time. There we go, Nightmare Cerberus to destroy his monster and go for game. Obviously, it should have uh, ended a long time ago. But like I said, that exchanging souls things. But still, I wanted to show you that mistake and show you some of the tech cards that I have in the deck as well. <laughs> this is a uh, interesting duel, I guess I'll put it that way. Uh, Trap Heavy BA. And I think he ends up setting Dynamiscus, but he doesn't give a target for it. I don't know if he has any way to get something to his hand, but I don't know. Obviously, the ideal situation here would be to get Fist of Fate, but I didn't get it. But I got the next best thing in Lightning Storm, so I clear his back row, which is really nice. I'm kind of starting off at a higher advantage than him, which is always something you need to be mindful of. But that's the great thing about Numeron Network. Normally, you have to like abuse your... Uh, advantage in order to get it off uh, but here obviously you're able to you know with Numeron Network it's just one card you send it to the graveyard and you don't really neg anything card advantage wise uh, I, I made another mistake here I actually don't like Guardian Sign that much but I need to be able to stack the deck because I have Planet Pathfinder and this is like the only field spell in the game if you can believe that that stacks something on top of the deck I feel like that onus should be on Konami to actually make that in either one of the structure decks, but they clearly didn't do that. But I shouldn't have activated it this turn uh, because I only have one card activation because of exchanging souls. So that was a bad mistake, and I wanted to showcase that. Because uh, that was a non-BA monster that gets destroyed automatically, 
Uh, I don't really know why he activates this. They all get destroyed, and now his Dynamicus is uh, banished. He can't use it anymore. And we're kind of net zeroing here. All right, well, I can use Numeron Network again. Well, maybe not. He has the, uh, the Dino, so there we go. So those trap cards are coming in handy for him. He still has a lot more trap cards to go. He's going to start milling his cards. It seems like a lot of good things are happening, but uh, they actually don't amount to much. And I now have the Guardian Slime, I suppose, to, uh, you know, guard myself. And now, but I'm a little worried. Did I use both Numeron Networks, actually? No, so... I didn't know I was going to top deck Planet Pathfinder, right? Obviously, if I had... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's hard to... It's easy to say in retrospect, especially, I guess, because you have so many ways to get to it. I could have waited. Uh, but nonetheless, I still, like, have the advantage. He's literally, you know, going off of one card. But this does become an issue. And that's why I kind of debate having it in the deck. But I, I just need... You just need more targets for the true name. Like, between Memories of Hope, the Planet Pathfinders, the Sea City, and Sarayuja. Like, I feel pretty good about, you know, being able to activate that at any time. And it's worked out pretty well for me. See, this kind of, now I'm starting to think about that flexibility, right, of maybe the Nightmare Cerberus, but it's not, obviously not ready just quite yet. If he gets this off the field and gets going, then I'm in real trouble. Uh, Fist of Fate, so I just don't have a way to get to my Egyptian Gods right now. I, I wish I could draw into it. Let's see how far away I am from it. They're just, like, buried in the deck. They're just buried, so that's a problem. All right, a, a direct attack. I know he has a Trunsal Tribute now, so I'm trying to pressure and force him into it as fast as I can, especially because of Numeron Network. There we go. So now he has to, right, because that would have been lethal. Although maybe he should have waited till the battle phase, actually, because that would have, like, forced me out of it. That's okay, though. Uh, well, I guess it, assuming uh, he knows he has other kind of uh, disruption. He has a card called Needle Ceiling. If there are four more monsters on the field, destroy them all. That uh, seems oddly specific. This was not a match. He just... He just main decks that. Don't know, you know, if I agree necessarily. I'm gonna set this in the hopes that I'll be able to negate something at some point. Uh, yeah, that definitely signals maybe the Dino. Uh, okay, I really actually don't know why he did that. I feel like that maybe wasn't the best decision. Uh, but at this point, uh, he's <laughs> very low on cards, and uh, Numeron, you know, Wall is a battle fader technically after you take battle damage. So I felt pretty good. I passed Trinity decks out. One of the few duels. Uh, you know, where that happens, but there you go. Uh, there's also, like, really simple parts of the deck, so you'll see this guy, his turn is, like, a billion years long. There's a lot of extenders and wobbles, unfortunately, they don't do anything. Although, that's not true, because you'll see in a second, kind of, like, the context of... He's, like, a lot of negates in his extra deck, like, Omni negates, too. I, don't, I think he only summons a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon in his first turn. I feel relatively good about this, though. I mean, Terraforming can search Sea City, so I, I do have a way to stack the deck right now. I uh, can get that to my hand and Fist of Fate if he has a bunch of, like, spell and trap cards, but I don't think he ends up having any, so it doesn't really, you know, benefit me. And TJ Hyper Librarian, so he's, like, drawing a bunch of cards. <laughs> it all looks great. Sending level cards, it all the effects on the graveyard. Uh, so there we go. I have to try to like establish myself here, which should be relatively easy. <laughs> okay, this is going to come down. And I think I just go into a Mega Clops. So to me, he's playing a Synchro deck, right? Like all he has in his extra deck is Synchro Monster. So that's it. Like that's the end of the duel pretty much. Uh, one day of peace. That's pretty lame. That's unfortunate, but... I don't, like, I legitimately don't think there's anything you can do. Eventually, I'm going to be able to stack the deck and get, like, uh, you know, Slife for the Sky Dragon. But I don't even know, I don't think I end up drawing into it. Like, can you believe that I, out of all of that, I still didn't draw an Egyptian God? Like, I haven't hard drawn it. You hate to see that, don't you? Uh, so he goes into, like, Stardust, Divine, <laughs> Shooting, Quasar. Uh, I don't know, I don't doubt he has Red Nova. But, yeah, I mean, these can't be destroyed by battle. So, sorry. Uh, I, I don't have the true name or like, card advance in my hand after drawing like a billion cards. It's just such a funny little duel. These can't be destroyed by battle, I suppose. He goes for desynchro, and then he goes into like a bunch of plays again. But I think at some point he'll realize 
they're all synchro monsters so and then he's gonna deck out because he's like gone through his entire deck and just a couple more duels nothing too crazy today three infinite impermanences plus the uh ghost bell and haunted mansion I did have the negate. I don't really know why he didn't normal summon his Falco, but he decided not to. What I wanted to do was draw into more and see if I can get something from the true name. Uh, yeah, I would have gotten it, actually, but he did have the infinite. Uh, I don't have any effects in the graveyard, as far as I know, other than maybe Guardian Slime, but that's like... It doesn't actually... Actually, there's no targets for it. I don't have the Wing Dragon of Ra in this deck, so it really doesn't do anything. Uh, card Advance, the true name... And I uh, probably go into Obelisk. He can't target this, so that's it. I mean, that's that's the end of the duel, just right there, which is pretty nice. Pretty simple stuff. Even th even though he had three infinite impermanences and a you know a hand trap, like it just wasn't the right disruption. And last but not least is the uh, Xingjian archetype, and this is where I realized that every time I activate uh, True Name to Chafine uh, Soul Crossing. My game, like, it just doesn't compute for some reason. But I, I did have a really nice hand, so I wanted to just show you the setup for it. That's why, you know, I left this to last duel here. Uh, yep, at Hara. I still don't actually, like, I feel like the idea is that these are supposed to work together. I, I just don't feel like they do. I, I don't know. I don't really see it. I actually kind of need to get this off the field. We'll see what I end up doing. Uh, this must have been an old version of the deck, so yes, it's technically possible, uh, but he's silly, very silly, silly, uh, ends up, you know, destroying it, but here we go, now I have Memories of Hope as well, so ignore the uh, Ancient Chan, I suppose, it's not in my final deck profile, and, you know, the true name comes down, I tried to find Soul Crossing, so I would have gotten rid of all of his monsters, uh, yeah, and then I, even if he did, like, tribute one of these, like, I still had other fodder for it, and, uh, that would have been game. So, uh, yeah, that's um, my build of Numeron. I'll do the deck profile this week, if not tomorrow. But other than that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.